Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Explore and Engage with Anam. In the United States, volunteerism has decreased significantly, and that is causing many nonprofit organizations to be very much worried because nonprofit organizations depend on volunteers. Volunteers are an important part of our society. Whether it's about volunteering at a place of worship or volunteering at a charitable nonprofit or it's about volunteering at an event to help raise money for the local fire department, these are all important activities. And sadly, volunteerism has decreased significantly. Now, why is that? What's the reason for this decline? Some people quickly blame the younger generation. Some people say that the younger folks are not volunteering or that they are not volunteering enough and uh, they don't have any interest in volunteering, etc. But is that really the reason? Each generation is different from the one before. And so obviously there could be uh, a difference between two generations, you know, the older generation, the younger generation, um, each will be very different. But what I really think is happening here is that the economy is in a very poor shape, which is why volunteerism has decreased significantly. Inflation is eroding the value of money. People cannot keep up with rising prices. People have to work additional hours or they have to take up a second job or a third job to make ends meet. And that's why people don't have the time to volunteer. Volunteerism is what people do once they have all their personal matters in good order. If someone doesn't have food on the table, or if someone doesn't have the money to pay for gas, or if someone has financial challenges, how can that person volunteer once time? How can a person volunteer once time if that person has lots of problems in life, has has financial challenges and is, is having difficulty putting food on the table. Americans right now, they are in a lot of stress and there's a lot of uncertainty about the future. And people will have to prioritize their families and their loved ones in a time of crisis. When human beings struggle to put food on the table, how can they find time to volunteer? That's the question. And this entire situation is very sad and it's been going on for a while. Since President Joe Biden came to office, the economy has been in a lot of trouble. Inflation is high, gas prices are high, and millions of illegal immigrants entered the country. Our position on the global stage has been hurt and people are having to come out of retirement to work again because of rising prices. And there are lots of other issues. And so as people struggle so much, many are sadly losing their ability to volunteer. So what we really need to encourage volunteerism is a great economy. We need a great economy, an economy that would allow people to save money, an economy in which people don't have to work two or three jobs to make ends meet, an economy in which people can invest money and get good return on their investment. We need an economy in which people feel that they are financially secure. We need an economy in which people don't experience the falling value of money. Remember, when inflation is high, value of money falls. And that's what we are suffering from. When we have a good economy, people can have the peace of mind and they can once again find the time to volunteer. So our country needs and deserves better leadership. Now let's talk about the upcoming election, the 2024 presidential election. The 2024 presidential election is probably the most important election of our lifetime. And I know that people have said that before about prior elections, but this 2024 election is the opportunity to elect new leadership 
and to change the direction of our country. If you want to end the open border policy, elect a new leader for our country. If you want to see sound economic policies that would help combat inflation and bring stability back into the country, elect a new leader for America. If you want to have peace of mind again, elect a new leader for this great nation. The 2024 presidential election is the opportunity to do that. It is the opportunity to elect a new leader. Now, I am not going to tell you who to vote for. Pay attention to the candidates who are running to replace the incumbent president. Listen to the candidates' policies. Listen to their ideas. Understand and analyze the proposals that they are introducing. The most important things you can do right now are to pay attention and to think. There are some great candidates who are running for the office. They are running for the office of the President of the United States. Pay attention to these candidates. The presidential debates are coming up. Pay attention. Don't simply trust a person's words. Look at the records of the candidates. Check out their prior experiences and activities. Understand the backgrounds of the different candidates. Understand their history. Understand their qualifications. It's important for us to really try to find out who each candidate is and what are the past activities. What, what do the past activities reveal about the candidates? What profession did each candidate have before deciding to run for the office of the president? What kind of activities did they perform, etc.? That's, that's all for now, my friends. Share with me your thoughts. We have an important election coming up. So if you have thoughts about the election, if you have thoughts about the candidates, please share with me your thoughts and comments. As always, I'm going to highlight my website, tossifanam.net. You can go to my website. You can send me a message. And please don't forget to sign up for my e-newsletter. I hope to be back again with a new episode of Explore and Engage with Anam. Thank you all for staying connected with me.